it may have gone unnoticed to many, but the 76ers quietly made an awesome move earlier this week. The Memphis Grizzlies waived second year forward Kenneth Lofton Jr. in order to be able to keep Bismack Biombo once Ja Morant returned from his suspension. The 76ers decided to pick up the young, bruising forward and signed him to a two-way contract. However, it wouldn't shock me at all if this turned out to be much more than a normal two-way, and Lofton carved out a real rotation spot with the team. I made a video on him last season calling him the NBA's best kept secret, and that he had the potential of a star level player someday, which I still believe. Lofton is a special player, and despite his somewhat unconventional build, at 6'7 and nearly 280 pounds, he is still very athletic. You could think of him as a Zion Williamson light. In his first ever game as a starter last season on April 9th, he put up a wild 42 points and 14 assists against the Thunder. It's the most points in a player's first career start in NBA history. He also won G League Rookie of the Year last season as he was on a two-way contract then as well. In the G, he averaged 25 points, 10 rebounds, and 3 assists per game. He was one of the best players there despite being an undrafted rookie. Lofton also created a lot of buzz thanks to his summer league play in both years he's been so far. For his career in the summer league, he's averaged 16 points and 7 rebounds per game while shooting 38% from 3. He also dominated Chet Holmgren in a head-to-head -head matchup there. Despite limited minutes last season in the NBA with the Grizzlies, he was productive in his opportunities, averaging 25 points per 36 minutes. Every situation where Lofton has been given a chance, he has thrived. He's a natural scorer, even if his build and style may be unorthodox, and is legitimately difficult to stop. His speed, shooting from distance, and defense will continue to be somewhat weak points, but if the 76ers can help him get in even slightly better shape, they could unleash a beast. The 76ers struck gold with Kenneth Lofton Jr. Now let's take a deeper look. Before we get into the Sixers' new secret weapon, if you enjoy my content and watch a few videos of mine, think about subscribing. 96% of my viewers are actually not subscribed, so if you watch them before and enjoy the content, drop a sub and comment down below. It really helps the channel. On Saturday, the Sixers inked a two-way deal with Kenneth Lofton Jr. and consequently released 24-year-old guard De Javante Smart, as per the team's announcement. Due to John Morant's return from suspension, the Grizzlies opted to waive Lofton last Monday. Hailing from Louisiana Tech, the 21-year-old Southpaw stands out with his, his unique style of play. Lofton exhibits strength and skill as a formidable post-up and isolation score. His ability to disrupt taller opponents, coupled with crafty footwork, deceptive fakes, and spins, sets him apart on the court. Earlier this month, Lofton shared with DeMichael Cole of the Commercial Appeal that he shed nearly 20 pounds in the prior three weeks, which is a fantastic sign moving forward. Although the Grizzlies officially listed Lofton at 6'6", 275 pounds, Cole suggested he might have been even heavier before the season started. For Lofton to secure a regular spot in the NBA, he must demonstrate his defensive capabilities despite not being a natural rim protector or an agile perimeter defender. In the last two seasons, Lofton's court time totaled just 275 minutes across 39 games of the Grizzlies. Notably, a substantial portion of this playing time occurred in the regular season finale last year, where Lofton recorded an impressive 42 points and 14 rebounds. Last year, he secured the title of G League Rookie of the Year, boasting averages of 22.3 points, 10.1 rebounds, and 3.6 assists while playing for the Memphis Hustle. The Sixers have two other players operating under two-way contracts, namely rookie guards Terquavion Smith and Ricky Council IV. Council has demonstrated his prowess with the Delaware Bluecoats in the G League, posting impressive stats of 24 points and 5 rebounds per game. Notably, he has displayed a sharp 3-point shooting ability, making nearly 40% of his attempts on 6.4 tries per game, an area of focus for him at the start of the year. 
functioning as a key contributor off the bench in Delaware, Smith has contributed significantly, recording averages of 21 points, 3 rebounds, and 2.5 assists per game. He has also displayed a penchant for long-range shooting, attempting nearly 10 threes per contest, and converting a modest 33.1% of them. However, the jewel of the group is clearly Lofton, and I believe the Sixers struck gold in acquiring him. The talent is off the charts. Thanks for watching. I'm Herm. Have a good one.